Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing with you my top tricks on how to thrift shop like a pro. Okay, so today I have 13 tips for you, which I know is a really awkward number, so we're just gonna roll through them. The first tip I have for you is to go in with a mental wish list. This is gonna be super helpful because if you are overwhelmed by the scenery of a thrift store shop, then when you walk in and you know exactly what you're looking for, it kinda helps you determine where to start and like what to look for when you're looking at the crazy amounts of clothes on a rack. So tip number one is to go with a mental wish list. Take it on your phone, write it on your hand, just, just take a list with you in somewhere. Okay, my second tip is for you to shop through the colors versus the racks, and you can tie this in with tip number one. Basically, every tip you can tie into the one before, the one right after, but, you know, to break it down. Um, so, yeah, shop through colors versus racks because if I know that I am, like, missing a blue sweater for my wardrobe, then I'm going to go to the place where I see the most blue things, and then through there, I can kind of narrow down my search to finding things that are long sleeve, finding things that are a specific type of blue, and that way I'm not super, again, overwhelmed by just, like, the amount of clothes that are everywhere. Go through the colors. Forget about the racks and where they are. Just go to the color. Tip number three. Again, to tie into the tip number two, don't avoid the menswear sections. Again, if I'm looking for my blue sweater and I see that my women's section just has like a plethora of other colors that I'm not into at the moment, I'm not gonna disregard the men's section because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be hidden gems in there. So if I go in there, then I'm pretty sure I can crop a sweater or I can buy a long sleeve t-shirt that I could like repurpose or like sew the sleeve so they fit really nice or you know, whatever the case may be. So number three, do not avoid the menswear section because usually there's there's like really awesome goodies in there, especially if you're into wearing like blazers or like oversized pants or trousers, all the good stuff, men's wear section. Tip number four is for you to go thrift shopping when there are deals pertaining to you. So I have this really bad luck where I always go to thrift stores when it's senior day. Why? Why? And then I'm like, oh, this is not 75 cents, it's $2. So yeah, wanna go? you wanna go to thrift stores when they have those deals, like there's one that I go to that like on Tuesdays, it's like all red tags, 50% off, or to Wednesdays, ladies day. <laughs> like stuff like that, like get to know your local thrift stores. That way when you're like thinking like, oh, I'm gonna go to American Thrift today because I know that they have the ladies night. Ladies. You can go in from like, three to five and like get the best deal. So do your research and you know, write down where you can go on what days and what times so you can get the most bang for your buck. Tip number five is for you to go alone. As much as I love and like I wanna go thrift with my friends, it's almost like I don't want to just because when you're with someone, you want to like hang out and talk and you're like, you're not both looking for the same exact thing and you're not, you don't, you don't both have the same amount of patience and time to like sit there and sort through stuff. So if you just go alone, you kind of avoid the like awkwardness of having to be like, oh, I'm going to be like in the Thai section looking for a belt for like an hour, you know? So I would recommend you just go alone, especially if you're starting out. So you can really just get the feel for it. You can go at your own pace. You can sort through whatever the heck you want to sort through. And it really helps me to just go by myself. Um, if Nick and I go together, then I literally go to the clothes and he's like at the home section. So like, I feel like I'm alone because we totally just like, Wah! and like go do our own thing at the thrift store. But if you're trying to like go with your girlfriend or your mom, or your sister, like just, I, I prefer to go alone. So just go alone, it's fine. It also gives you some time to like, you know, soul search it. My next tip is super important and it's gonna save you so much time. You need to dress like you're going to thrift. So you need to wear your little leggings, wear your biker shorts, wear your little sports bras, you know, whatever is like the most like close fitted to your body. Because my next tip is for you to not be scared to try things on outside of fitting rooms. Like pick a corner, go get you a mirror somewhere and like just try things on on top of your clothes because if you just buy something you get home and it doesn't fit and then it goes back to the thrift store or it goes even worse to a landfill. So you might as well just dress to thrift and be prepared to put things on over your body, measure them. The number one things with pants that I love to do is I'll take the waistband of pants. Let me show you. Okay, so I got some pants that I actually did thrift. These are just like really fun culottes. They got pockets, all the jazz. So here's what I do when I find a pair of pants that I'm really, really into at the thrift store and I can't try them on, I don't have time. What I'll do is I'll take the waistband from edge to edge and I will put it around my neck like so. And if it literally touches like to the T, like perfection there without it like squeezing my neck, then I know it's gonna literally fit my waist perfect. My waist is a 25, 26. 
for jeans I'm 25 just so that they're not like loose in the back but like for pants and trousers I try to go to a 26 because then I would cinch it with a belt so little styling tip um but yeah if it fits you on the, around the neck like that then it's pretty much always gonna fit your waist super nice and snug and you're gonna be extra cinch and you're gonna look real good so <laughs> the only thing that I did to these pants as far as like alterations and such was just switch the buttons because the buttons that were on the pants um I think it was missing one button and the other two were like ugly and I didn't like them they're like falling off so I just um put some new buttons well I didn't I actually asked a seamstress at my job to if she could be so kind to help me with it and she did it in like three seconds love her thanks Nelly so that brings me to my next tip because of the buttons were like ugly and missing and all the things that wasn't going to stop me from not purchasing the pants because they were going to be a great addition to my wardrobe i wear these all the time and so i said okay great love them can't leave them can i fix what's broken or missing or like repair whatever part of the garment is not up to par um so that's the next tip if you find something you love can you fix or repair what's missing or damaged i easily could have just replaced the buttons and it's like perfect and super snug and if it's like perfection don't let something small deter you from your purchase if it's going to be a good investment into your wardrobe just if you can fix it get it <laughs> okay since i just mentioned those pants being cotton i wanted to go into my next tip which is for you to look for natural fibers this is super important because a lot of our clothing is made from synthetic fabrics and textiles which are super damaging to number one the environment and also to our bodies when we like soak in the chemicals that offset from those fabrics and textiles so what the main fabrics that i wear cotton linen hemp if i find it silk cashmere wool leather suede those are the seven <laughs> eight fabrics that i wear all the time and the only fabrics that are in my wardrobe just because i just don't want to deal with the environmental factors and stressors that come from synthetic fabric a lot of them are petroleum based fabrics and i just don't want to deal with all of that okay i don't have a guppy bag so that if i do machine wash my synthetic fabrics they will the microplastic will get trapped like i don't have that kind of bag gear solution for my washing machine so i just stray away from those fabrics altogether um so i would encourage you as well while you're thrift shopping and secondhand shopping to also look for those natural fibers they're gonna wear better they're gonna last you way longer they're gonna feel better on your body this just it's just way better to have a natural fiber and also shameless plug i do sell really nice secondhand um natural fiber clothing over on well threads but it'll be down below you can check that out i have i'm just got back from New York, so I'm like gonna be adding new goodies. So check it out. <laughs> okay, my next tip is refuse what you don't need. And I know this could be super, super hard because just sometimes the price tag is so low on an item that you're like, that's way cute. But if you don't need it, just like, you got the strength, just let it go. If you don't need it, just refuse it. You don't, it's not gonna add any value to your wardrobe. It's probably just gonna sit there, you're gonna wear it, or you're gonna wear it one time and then you're gonna be like, why did I get that piece? So seriously, this is like a really good tip for you to just become more conscious of like the pieces that you're buying and bringing into your closet. And so if you don't need it, truly, just don't get it. My next tip is fit versus size. I know we talked about measuring the pants around the neck for like sizing, but don't get too like hung up on sizing. I literally never look at sizing. The only time I size myself is by trying it on and seeing how it actually fits on my actual body. And then again, just like the pants, like literally like sizing it, which honestly, most of the time, the pants that I do size around my waist are European sizes. They're UK sizes. They're super vintage. So like, the uh, the 246 is not the same as today's 246 so you have to just like ignore the number on the garment and literally just try it on and see how it actually fits your body now because remember they have been pre-loved they have been worn they've been stretched and you know fit into whatever so again why it's so important to dress the thrift so you can try it on and make sure that it fits you in the fit that you want it to fit you another tip that i kind of want to throw in there that's not on my list but because it's not something that i personally do but i do follow um women on instagram that do do this and i'm like so inspired by it and i want to do this but get yourself a tailor i feel like this is super nice and super smart because you're literally just investing into your wardrobe so that it lasts you forever so for example, when we're in New York, I want there was this blazer that I literally fell in love with, but it was 20 bucks, I think. 
but I didn't have any room in my suitcase, so I just couldn't, I just couldn't buy it. It just like, it wasn't like gonna work out. But I was talking with Nick and he was saying like, yeah, like even if the alterations cost you like 80 to 100 bucks, the total of that blazer would have been like 125 versus if you're buying it from a fast fashion brand, would have been like what almost the same price from like czar free people not for people but you know what i mean like it would have been like that same price but way less quality and it wouldn't have lasted how much it would have lasted if i would have gotten the good good piece and i think it was i think it was a vintage it was either a vintage ralph lauren or a vintage burberry i'm not exactly sure which i know what you're thinking how could you pass that up but i truly just didn't have space in my suitcase to bring it back um and i was not gonna ship it i'm not, not doing that um, but yeah, so little segue tip, I really want to find a tailor or just like become friends with someone who's like in that industry so I could like, you know, do the thing and pay them for what they're doing because there's humans that make your clothes and um, really uh, find a tailor. So yeah, not in my tip list, but a tip that I want to implement. So take it, you can take the tip too. And then my next tip is something that I think we don't really think about that often because we're so used to seeing shopping totes for like groceries or farmer's markets or whatever the case, like for food. We're used to like reusable tote food, but bring your own reusable tote to go thrift shopping. A lot of times I will go thrifting and I'll forget my bag and I literally just like fold everything and like I'll put it inside like the biggest thing and I'll just take it like that. And then they're always like, you don't want a bag? I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> but it really is super smart to just keep like a little toe folded up in your purse. And that way you're always ready for if you're gonna go grocery shopping or if you're gonna go thrift shopping, that way you can always just stick your things in there. Okay, so if local thrift shopping is not your jam and you're into online thrifting, then I made a separate video that gives you my top like three to five tips on how to shop online for secondhand clothing because you can't try that on, obviously. Um, and so that will be linked down below. It's over on it's over on my IGTV channel on Instagram, so you can check that out. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm so excited to get back on YouTube and that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm sharing with you my top tips on how to, sh what? Scratch that. So my next tip is for you to dress. Bleh. How you stop this? Oh boy. That ended weird, but.